So once when I was managing volunteers for my organization, I had planned a whole volunteer training day in partnership with a local library. Um, it had taken a couple of weeks to set up because the students were busy, but I had planned for them to come to the library and do um, practice runs of the service they were going to be doing. So all the students traveled, some of them had to walk to get to the library. I had coordinated with the library, we got all set up, we got in, the students sat down ready to go, and the library informed me that the internet was out for that day, and so the students could not do anything that they had come to do. Um, it was really disappointing, and I was worried that the students would be frustrated, so I had to just think on the fly, um, make up some other exercises they could do without the internet, <laughs> do some practice scenarios, had to do some acting to help replicate what they were going to do when they were volunteering. So that was um, kind of embarrassing for me, but it taught me a lot of things. Um, one, just over communicate with everyone involved, make sure that everything is ready to go at least a day in advance. Um, try to get there and test the equipment that you're going to use and then always have a backup plan. I think one failure that made me a better professional is to actively see things from other people's perspective. A lot of times we can get very caught up in the way we see something in our own experiences and how we bring that into the industry and jobs and internships. Um, but other people have other experiences that may differ from ours and we may not always agree with. So it's always imp imperative and important to really take a step back and to say, hey, so this is how I know this thing to be. How does this affect person X um, and how does it affect Sally or Rebecca or Dylan um, and if it affects them in a different way taking the time to really evaluate that and seeing it from their perspective then hopefully bringing all of those perspectives together to work towards a better goal. I would feel like a failure as a professional and it's my current job when I came in I was very young it was my second job out of college and I felt like I had so much life experience under my belt when in actu you know in reality I did not um, so I would just say you know be humble be prepared to learn from someone because you you know you're young you don't have the experience that you think you have um, and you know college is wonderful and it teaches you so many things but you need to get in a job and have those real life experiences to prepare you so my failure was coming in as very young and everybody else was older than me and thinking I'd every I already knew everything I needed to know when and I did not so just be prepared to learn in your job when you first come in I can give you there's examples but I think one specific failure that I've really learned from is giving people the opportunity to change. Sometimes in human resources or in business, you think that when somebody's in a certain position and they're not excelling, it just it's up it's their fault. It's they just don't know what they're doing or they're not doing a good job. But sometimes you have to really look at character, look at what their knowledge, skills and abilities are and realize that maybe it's not their fault. Maybe we don't have them in the right position. So there have been times that I regret that uh, probably took some people out of positions where they would have fit in better somewhere else, but it's also something that I've learned and that I've been able to use for uh, other employees that I work with now. So just make sure that people are in the right positions before you make assumptions. I've always been a very responsive employee, um, but there was one occasion where um, I failed to contact um, a nurse manager ahead of time to let them know they had an applicant um, that was going to be coming to interview with them. And I remember feeling so bad about that. And it really did make me want to prove to that manager how great <laughs> that I really, I'm there to work for them. I'm here to work for you. Um, and from that point forward, I realized how much building relationships means um, and so it's super important to build relationships with the people that you're going to be working with um, the managers you're going to be working with the teams you're going to be working with build those relationships so that if you do make a small mistake they know hey that that's not going to happen often they're going to give you grace on that um, so building relationships is um, one of the biggest things i've learned over the years so my obstacle would be that um, I have a graduate degree from Mississippi State University in counseling, but I was initially denied access to that program um, first round. Um, I kind of got the, you know, thanks but no thanks email um, and didn't want to take no for an answer. 
So I drove to Mississippi State, um, basically walked in the office and asked to meet with anyone that was available so I could get more feedback and just understand why I was not chosen for that program. And at the end of that meeting, they gave me a spot in the program because I fought for it and I really um, showed enthusiasm for wanting to be in their program. Um, I graduated in that program in 2011. So since getting my master's degree, I've had four jobs that if it wouldn't have been for that master's degree, I would not have been eligible for. So you can almost directly tie my marching into an office and asking for a second chance to 10 years in a higher ed.